I just wanted to give a little update on the door skins I've been working on. I started to knock over the second panel and I realized that it was slipping on the uh, hammer form. So what I ended up having to do was I just uh, put two uh, screws through the uh, form and into the wood. So it stopped it from uh, moving. See there's a, a hole there and a hole there. But uh, I ended up it moved about a, a quarter to an eighth of an inch across the top, which isn't a big deal, but I had to rehammer the edges and I ended up with some very deep returns. Like, well, it was almost three quarters of an inch. I'm impressed I was able to get it to bend over that far, but there's zero chance to be able to bend that over and flat again around the uh, corners. So I took the uh, washer out. and uh, remark the line. You see how much I have to remove in different locations. It's quite a bit. So I tried to cut it out with the shears and they're hard, it's hard enough to cut flat metal with uh, the shears. So I kind of gave up. So I have to cut this out with uh, a grinder to crack that mistake. So uh, I would say you put a couple screws in the thing just to hold it from uh, moving around on the hammer form. Then I uh, started working on the doors. I'll go to the other side. It's a bit brighter over here. And it, it's come to my uh, attention that the doors are actually three pieces. So there's uh, the outer skin. Then there's like a, a door jam or like a door frame that's on three sides. So it starts here, goes all the way around, comes down, and it ends here again. So I need to replace the door inner uh, bottoms and uh, what I did was, I'll show you on the other side, is I had to make a, a profile of this missing piece. So I was able to make uh, two profiles, so there's uh, a front and a rear profile here. So I kind of marked it as you can see. So I just I put a piece of wood flat against the edge here and traced it out. Then you can see I sanded it down to match the profile as uh, best I can. For sanding, I just I used my uh, stationary sander here. This was the smallest uh, piece. And for the rear door, I ended up doing the same. So I just uh, put the piece of wood up here, traced it out and uh, sanded it down. And you can see the bottom of the door kind of tapers, so that's uh, another thing. I started off trying to make like a paper template and it was getting kind of weird. So uh, I still I real figured out how deep the uh, door bottom has to be before I flip it over to the return but otherwise that paper was more of a an exploratory mission. So that's uh, kind of where I'm at now. So I want to fit the uh, rear door skins but I can't necessarily fit them until I have a door bottom on the inner so I have something to tap them against. So hopefully in the next little while I can uh, do the inners. I've got uh, some the forming dies from Eastwood are at uh, the post office in the States, so i got to go and pick those up. Hopefully I can do that sometime next week. I'm going to be out of town for work quite a bit. Plus we had a, a large transformer that had an issue, so we got to figure that out as well. So thanks for watching. Hope to have some more updates uh, here and there. So I'm going to focus on these doors until I'm happy with them. And then uh, I'll move on to another job after that. Thanks. Have a good night.